Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Today, I wanna show you the most badass SREF code that you've ever seen. It's my favorite, and I have probably have played around with, I don't know, five, six, 10,000 of these things since SREF codes came out. I don't know exactly how many. I, I keep a spreadsheet and I rate them from zero to 10, and this is the only one that I've rated and 11. So just like Spinal Tap, yes, it does go to 11. So anyway, let me show you this. So I've got a prompt set up and I want to show you four different ideas at once just so you can get a clue as to the power of this SREF code. Now, it does kind of a black and white pen drawing kind of a look. I don't know if you need that, but it's so versatile. It's one of my favorite things. So I've got an animal, cute mouse. I've got a motocross racer, which is action. I've got a Celtic knot pattern, then a Rube Goldberg machine. So the reason why I used all four of those is to give you an example of how this SREV code is so powerful. So as usual, I'm doing the power permutations with the curly brackets with these different ideas separated by a comma. And that way I can test these four images at one time with this SREF code. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna show you this and then we're gonna pick one of these and we're gonna start playing with it. So let's go ahead and hit go. And it's just gonna take a couple of moments here to get our results. So here we go. Now, as you can see, this is incredibly high quality. So this is a cute mouse. We didn't give it any other prompts. So mid is just gonna do what it does. And that's the point here, is because if we wanted to, we can give it more direction with the prompts, but I just wanna show you what you get with a bunch of different types of ideas. And I want you to take a look at the quality here that I'm, I'm showing. Now, you might kind of freak out the fact that, well, he's got, you know, an extra foot. I'm not worried about that because we can edit this in two seconds, just like that. I can edit that little detail out. It's not a big deal. And Mid Journey sometimes gives you stuff like that. Don't worry about it. Here's the motocross racer, you know, kind of an action thing. And I want you to just look at the detail of how it's doing the motorcycle and the action pose, you know, and of course we can give it more direction just like the mouse, but it's giving us a really good result. Here's our Celtic knot, just amazing. And again, we didn't give it any direction. We're just letting it do its thing. And then here's our little machine, Rube Goldberg machine, which is just kind of a fake thing. Here's our result where we made the edit. In two seconds, we got something different. So what do you think? I really like this kind of stuff. And I want you to imagine you're using this as an illustration. You're doing it as a product shot. You're doing some sort of background or a texture. You could do a lot of stuff with this SREF code. But let me show you ways that we can control this a little better. So let's go ahead and get the prompt going here, which is cute mouse. Here's exactly how we did it, style 150. And then what I want to do is I'm going to show you another little trick, which is you can control the volume of the SREF code in the image just with a style weight, which is dash dash SW. And then just like when we did our topics, we can also do style weights with the power permutation. So let's do one at 20, let's do one at 80, let's do one at 200, and let's do one at 1,000 to see what we get. And we hit go, right? Now, what's really cool here is that you're gonna be able to see how much of the SREF code is involved with these different volume settings. So this is style weight 20, okay? has kind of a different look. It doesn't look as dense and dark, you know? And then this is style weight 80. And look at the difference between 20 and 80. It's just in the tone, right? That's why you need to use style weight sometimes with these SREF codes, because you, you can really understand where you're going with some things. All right, so here is our style weight 200. And of course, this is style weight 1000. And you know, this is like the top of the volume knob. This is going crazy here. And you can see it adds a bird and an earring and just it's adding some craziness to it. So which do you like the best? And that's kind of what we wanna do when we're looking at this stuff. We can 
play around and we could figure things out. Now, let's say we were doing a project and we needed to do a cute mouse for something. Let's pick this one, for example. We like this, but how do we generate other images that are similar or like it? Right? So that's where the very subtle, very strong buttons come in. So we could hit that and you're gonna get variations that look kind of like this, but very strong gives us different images that kind of have this look, but it's gonna make it different. And that's another way that you can create some amazing things. And so here are very subtle, these are very subtle images. And you can see that they're all kind of the same, but they're all different. So which one of these do you like the best? For me, it's kind of that one, I think. And then here's our very strongs. So if you're trying to dial in a cute mouse and you're doing this, this is how you can play around with this a little bit and get something that's really gonna work for you, right? And, um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. Uh, I would love it if you would let me know in the comments if you like using this SREF code. Does it work for you? And to be clear, it's 247-228-0398, right? That's exactly how you can use it. That's the number. And then the other thing, if you want to learn how I found this, I found this just by doing a power search, which is... I had a line drawing prompt that I liked and I just hit the power search magnifying glass. And if we go to styles, we get similar looks. I found that SREF code this way. And of course, all of these are different. So you could find the one that you like just like this. And maybe uh, you'll discover your favorite one just like that. So anyway, Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys. If you want to learn more how to use MidJourney better, please look at our MidJourney Experience Academy on the school platform. That's where professional creatives just like you come and hang out and learn with peers and share ideas and discover how to use MidJourney better together. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.